introduction of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. Now, for those of you who were not previously aware of my plan to do this game and some of the discussions thereof, you may be thinking, how the heck can you Let's Play an MMO? Well, to answer that question, I'm going to be focusing mainly on the main scenario, aka the plot of this game, most of which the content can be soloed. Um, there will be obviously some parts where I have to party with other people, but I have plans on how to handle that. And the other fact is, you guys don't want to sit here and see me leveling and whatnot, so obviously the actual Let's Play episodes are going to focus on where stuff actually happens, and all the rest of the content, me like leveling up, grinding, taking care of irrelevant side quests for experience, all that good stuff, all that is going to be live streamed at random intervals. Um, I wouldn't any expect anyone to watch it and anything significant that happens in between, like say leveling up or getting new equipment or new skills or whatever thing, all that will be obviously be summarized at the beginning of the next actual Let's Play episode. So you won't actually have to watch any of the live streams to keep update what's going on. I will summarize all that for you. Um, there won't be any specific times because I have another character um, that I end game raid with and all that stuff, so I don't have a set schedule for which I plan to live stream this, you know, extraneous content or whatever. So you'll just have to subscribe to my Twitch channel, which is down in the description. Again, I won't. I do not expect anyone to do this or whatever. So fear not if you can't or you miss it or whatever, and everything will be. Uh, loaded as a previous broadcast anyway, if you did want to see it but missed it. But anyway, a little introduction about the game itself, if you were not aware. Uh, it was originally launched in 2010, and to be perfectly blunt, it sort of flopped. Um, and eventually it would lead to them shutting down the servers. And I kind of wish I played, because apparently the, so the story was good. Um, at least it got good toward the end, when they actually started to put you know effort into it. And eventually, in 2012, they would eventually shut the servers down. And while they were reworking the whole game into, obviously, the sequel, which is A Realm Reborn, which is going to be this game, released a year later. Um, since it is obviously a sequel, there's stuff that happened in the original version, commonly referred to as 1.0, that is going to be relevant in this game. Uh, some of it will not be relevant right away. Um, it does take time, I admit, for the game, this, plot, this game's plot to pick up. But down in the description, even though it is long, and I ask for your patience, there is an excellent plot description of what happens in 1.0. Um, there's a link to that down in the description. I highly recommend you read it, uh, even if not now, um, later, uh, like I said, when it actually does become more relevant. But some of that stuff you want to keep in mind, because there are n little nods to that plot um, actually early in the game, and if you've read that and at least recognized some names and stuff like that, you'll be more easily understood understand um, what is going on and what some of the characters are referring to. So I'm going to play two little clips for you here. Um, the first is actually the ending movie to the original 1.0 release uh, before the servers were shut down and it's actually playable in, well not really playable, but plays in A Realm Reborn as, uh, as a splash screen actually. Um, and again, if it helps if you actually read some of the plot description uh, below, particularly toward the end, because it's basically showing um, what happens at the end of the game, uh, sort of. So let me play that for you right now. It is beautifully rendered, so enjoy yourself.
Talk about what's going out with a bang, eh? But anyway, uh, I think I'm pretty sure the the actual credit sequence at the end of that is new. Uh, don't call me on that though. But it's still it looks gorgeous and everything and that. I'd watch I rewatch that thing all the damn time. But anyway, the next one I'm going to show for you is the actual official starting movie for A Realm Unborn, which you are forced to watch before you can even log in the game for the first time. Um, and while, to be fair, it does contain some of the same scenes you just watched in the previous video, because it's assumed that you haven't seen that. Um, so some of it's the same, but it's got some narration, and it's got some things that that other video lacks. The reason I'm playing both of them for you guys is because, you know... What one has, the other one lacks, and I think, even though it's kind of redundant to play both in the same video, they supplement each other really well. So, obviously, this one starts, is a true introduction to the, the actual A Realm Reborn proper, which takes place five years after that lovely event you got. Five long years. Wow. But again, it's gorgeous. Please watch it. Enjoy it. Ah. Uh. Hydaelyn. A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Amid azure seas, encompassing the westernmost of the three great continents, there lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aeorzea. The annals of Eorzean history chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, the Astral Eras. To date, all have proven ephemeral. In the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gollumol amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon Dalamon was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. From its core emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the realm. The devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the era to its end. Five years have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed, a stranger to him once more. Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity. Amid this period of great change, an adventurer arrives in Eorzea, one whose tale is yet unwritten. May he ever walk in the light of the crystal. Alrighty, hopefully you enjoyed that little scene, even though, like I said, a couple of it was redundant, for which I apologize, but it's still awesome, and it's still worth the watch anyway. You'll never have to watch those again, okay? I'll, I'll say that. 
I won't repeat those scenes in your mind, and you won't be seeing them in your sleep. I hope. But anyway, that's the introduction to the, uh, the obviously, the game proper. Uh, we're not actually going to begin anything until next time, uh, because the plot actually starts right away as soon as you create your new character. And frankly, I just don't have the, the time, and nor do I want to make this first episode like a half an hour long, even though some of these are going to be pretty long. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you look forward to the actual release of the Let's Play proper. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I shall see you next time.